Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a clothing haul for myself. It's been a minute since I've done one. I believe the last clothing haul that I did for myself, I was pregnant. So it's been a hot minute. So I'm really excited to film this because I desperately need some clothes. I am currently four months postpartum and my body is just not the way it was before. So I am struggling to find clothes that fit me. So hopefully I found some good things in this haul. So the first top that I have to share with you guys is a graphic tee. You guys know I'm a sucker for good graphic tee. It's pretty much all that I wear. So here is the one that I got. It says evil wing full mist higher. I'm not sure if that's in reference to anything, but I just thought this tee was so cool. I love how the lettering on it is kind of like faded. So it gives it like this old vintage look. And then it kind of has like this really cool like smoke effect on it. So the coloring kind of fades downwards. It is oversized too, which is typically what I gravitate towards. If you guys are really into like that oversized graphic tee look, then I highly recommend you check out Shein. I have so many graphic tees from there and the quality is amazing. They don't really shrink in the dryer, so I haven't had any issues with that. So highly recommend you try out Shein for your oversized tees because they're just amazing and they're so affordable too. The next top that I have to share with you guys is another graphic tee. This one is kind of like in that like beige kind of yellowish color. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. I think the camera is kind of making it more muted, but it definitely has like a yellow undertone in there. This one says future is in your hands and then it has a sun and moon on it. The next tops that I have to share with you guys are a little bit out of my comfort zone. Like I told you guys, I gravitate towards the oversized graphic tee look, but I really wanna change up my style. I really wanna embrace my postpartum body. So hopefully these look good on me, but you guys will see them when I try them on in a second. So the first one that I have is in this really pretty like green bluish color. This is a cropped fitted look. And then I really like the detail on the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt because it kind of has like this little like lettuce detailing I believe is what it called what it's called and then in the front of the shirt it kind of has like this ruching in here it looked really flattering on the model so hopefully I like this top the next top that I have this one is definitely out of my comfort zone I'm not sure how I'm going to wear it yet. I think I'm gonna have to go out and buy a bralette to wear under this. I am breastfeeding, so I kind of had to find like breastfeeding friendly tops as well. So this one is really pretty. I like the color, it's green. The sleeves kind of have like a flowy effect. The bottom is just really like loose, kind of has like a ruffle effect going on. It has flowers all over it and then it ties here in the front. The next top that I have to share with you guys is similar to the last one I showed you, but this one is long sleeve. So again, it's very flowy and then it ties in the front. It has a v-neck as well, but this one is long sleeve, like I said. And then the bottom of the sleeve kind of has like this ruffle detail. It has a elastic in here, so it kind of like cuffs around your wrist. The last top that I have to share with you guys is probably the top that I'm most excited for. I thought it was so cute on the model. I feel like you could easily dress it up, dress it down. So it is all black. It's kind of hard to show you guys right now, but you'll see it more when I try it on. This is a wrap style top. So you kind of like wrap it around your body and then you tie it. And then it has this really pretty like ribbed knit effect on it. So I just thought this top was so pretty you can easily dress it up dress it down i think this would be really cute if you wear it with like some mom jeans throw on some like combat boots and you will look so cute i actually have some mom jeans and combat boots so i kind of have like an outfit envisioned for this i also have a jacket to share with you guys i bought a leather jacket i know it's going to start warming up here with spring and summer but i've been dying for a black leather jacket. I used to have one years ago and I have no idea where it went. So I've just been dying for one. This one had really good reviews on the website. So I'm super excited to try this one out. It just looks so cool. It has so many zippers. It has like zippers on the sleeves. It has like this cool like 
belt tie on the sides. I just think this jacket is so cool. So next we're gonna go ahead and jump into bottoms. I have a skirt to shirt, you guys, two shorts, and then a pair of jeans. So here's what that skirt looks like. It's in this cheetah leopard print. I always get those two confused, but it's really pretty. It has a zipper back here so you can get it on and off. It's flowy. I believe this goes down to your ankle, I wanna say. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely past the knee. So it is a longer skirt. And then it has this slit right here. So I thought this would just be really cute to even just pair with like a graphic tee. I think that look is so cute whenever you pair like a skirt with a graphic tee. Next, I have some shorts to share with you guys. So here is the first pair. It's just in a blue denim wash. These shorts had so many good reviews on the website and they literally looked amazing on everybody and everybody's body shape was so different. So I thought I would give these a try. Hopefully they fit me. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I struggle to find a good pair of shorts. I feel like every single time I buy shorts, I just, they just don't fit my body good. They either fit my waist and then they don't fit my thighs or they fit my thighs and then they don't fit my waist. So it's just hard finding good shorts that fit me. So I have high hopes for these. Next pair of shorts that I have to share with you guys are the same exact style as the last ones, but these ones are black. They have that faded effect to them and then they are cuffed in the bottom. Same exact style as the last ones. Last pair of bottoms that I have to share with you guys are some mom jeans. Honestly, the quality of these feel amazing. They honestly feel like a pair of Levi's. The quality is that good. Like they feel like they're going to last for a really long time. They have some rip detailing on both sides. And like I said, they are mom jeans, so they have a looser fit. These are high-waisted, which are my favorite type of jeans to wear. Next, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some shoes and then accessories. So the first pair of shoes that I got are some sandals. And I've actually tried these on already. I'm not gonna show you guys me trying these on in the video, just because your girl definitely needs a pedicure. It has been long overdue, so I'm gonna save you guys. I'm gonna spare you and not show you my unpainted toes. But I can tell you already, these fit really good. I got my normal sizing. Like I said, I will have sizing details down below. I've been into the Doc Martin sandals, but I just cannot justify spending that much on a pair of sandals. So I've been trying to find a dupe these aren't exactly like the Doc Martens. They don't look exactly like them, but I've been into like that chunkier kind of sandal look. So I went for these. Um, the material is kind of throwing me off a little bit. The material kind of reminds me of like sandals that you would wear like if you're gonna get your feet wet kind of. So I'm not sure how the material is going to last. So they are like really bendy, kind of have like a foam material to them. So I'm not sure how I'm going to like them, especially during summer when your feet start to sweat on like a really hot day. Not sure how they're gonna hold up. So I'm gonna have to let you guys know how I like them. But when I tried them on, they fit me great. They were really comfortable. They do have a buckle right here. The buckle didn't dig into my ankle or anything like that. So the fit was amazing. So. Hopefully they last all summer. The next pair of shoes that I have to share with you guys, I'm so excited for. I already tried them on as soon as I got this package because I was so excited for them. Like I said, I've been into Doc Martens, but I just cannot bring myself to pay that much for a pair of shoes. So I went for these ones. They are combat boots. They have like a chunkier heel to them. These are amazing quality. I already tried them on. They fit like a dream. They fit so good. They were so comfortable. I cannot wait to wear these. I plan on pairing them with like everything. Plan on pairing them with jeans, with skirts, with shorts. I plan on wearing these every single season. Spring, summer, fall, winter. All of them, I am just so excited for these shoes. I just cannot say enough good things about these. So if you are in the market for some combat boots, highly recommend these. They are just so 
good and I cannot believe they are from Shein. The quality is Last things that I have to share with you guys in this haul are some clips, claw clips. I am so excited that this trend is back. I used to own some claw clips and they were actually my mom's because my mom used to always, she has curly hair so she used to scrunch up her hair and then she would use like the claw clip to put it up. That was like the look in the 90s. My mom used to wear her hair like that all the time and I thought Claw clips were so cute. I used to own this clear one and then whenever you would go out in the sun, it actually changed to hot pink. That was my favorite claw clip and I wish I still had it. It was the coolest thing ever. So I'm really excited that this trend is back. It came in a pack of eight. So it has these three, which has like that tortoise shell kind of vibe going on. So this one is like a lighter brown a like medium brown and then this one is like that reddish brown color so those ones are like the tortoise shell and then this one is just all clear this one is like a taupey kind of like grayish brownish color and there's just a all brown one there's a black one and then a like cream colored one i'm actually gonna go ahead and try one on for you guys because my hair is really thin so it's hard for me to find clips that don't fall out like they kind of just like slide out of my hair because my hair is so thin but these actually they feel pretty good hopefully they stay put but super cute all right guys well that is actually it for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said all of the sizing pricing links everything will be in the description down below so make sure you check that out but as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up yeah. make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys